Okay, I'm going to go really fast on this quick tutorial. Um, just blew me away. I just learned about Photoshop CS4 Extended 3D Tools. And I'm going to show you how to use them real quick. Here's my 3D model in Max. I have it selected, right? I'm going to go File, Export, Export Selected. I'm going to export it as a 3D Studio Max file, which I did already right here. So I'm going to do it again just to show you. Yes, I want to replace it. I want to preserve Max's text co uh, texture coordinates. I already unwrapped this. The, UV, the UVs are already laid out. That's just telling me it's renaming the um, the texture. Anyway, with that done, I'm going to go into Photoshop, File, New. I'm going to go 2048 by 2048. I'm going to do 300 dpi just because I didn't like the resolution before. All right, so now we got a new document in Photoshop, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 3D, new layer from 3D file. I'm going to scroll down to my 3DS zombie. I'm going to double click on it. And here it is. Um, K is the key to bring up and get rid of it to, to, to show the manipulator. So I'm going to go to the manipulator. I'm going to rotate my zombie around like this so that I could see it. And uh, I'm just going to do the face real quick, okay? So I'm going to come here, bring this down, zoom into the face real quick, and um, I'm not even lined up perfectly. But it doesn't matter. Um, so from here, I'm going to go new layer, okay? And I'm just going to pick any stupid color. I mean, if you know how to use Photoshop, if you know how to paint, then you can paint to your heart's content. But just for the heck of it, this is what I'm going to do right now. Okay? I'm just going to squiggle uh, anything. Who cares? Alright, I'm just going to squiggle. Right? Let's go here. Let's go. Let's make, give him a wide eye. I'm not even going to try to do a good job here. This is just a quick demonstration of different stuff. Alright, we'll give him red in the mouth. We'll, give, we'll, we'll make his tongue red. Um, we'll make his teeth just white. I'm just going to drag across. I mean, I'm, I'm not even really worried. Um, go to black. Go to OK. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can open up any stuff you want here. You know, paint, paint to your heart's content. You know, do, do whatever you feel you need to do in Photoshop. Um, paint your texture, your zombie veins, whatever you want to do. You know, smear this. Let's come scroll this down. Make, make freaking blood veins, squiggles, whatever, whatever. Okay. Now from here, all it is is as long as you're in this view with the 3D object, right click and merge down. Now it's actually on your object. Okay. Um, it didn't come out great here because of you know, you guys just gotta mess with different settings and stuff. But if I come back out and I hit K to get my manipulator, actually, you know what? I should zoom in. Again, I'm sorry. Zoom in on the face. And because my UVs are already laid out and I did this to a symmetrical object in Max, it's gonna duplicate the UVs on both sides. But now you can see the, the models are actually painted. Hit K. Let's grab our rotation manipulator and look the objects painted okay so even from here um, if I go just to the side view create a new layer grab my paintbrush and you know you just start painting you know whatever I'm just gonna paint an ear on here who cares um, more squiggly lines whatever I mean you know, if you're really going to do a really good texture, you know what you got to do. Um, so that's it. When you're done painting, merge down. Okay? Now we bring up our manipulator, grab the rotation tool, and look. It's painted right on the 3D geometry. Um, I'm just ecstatic about this. This is pretty amazing. Um, so, you know, the next thing you can do is if you wanted to, um, come here, let's, let's look at this, 
Let's bring up our manipulator again. Uh, let's rotate around. Move him back up. Uh, let's kind of rotate this a little bit better so that we could see something as even tiny as the fingernails. Come in. Go here. Grab your paintbrush. Start painting all your, your finer details right on the fingernails. Paint your knuckles in, whatever. You know? Do all your fine, magnificent artwork on your model. Right click. Merge down. It's now applied to the 3, 3D geometry. Now if you see the diffuse channel here, that's what we're painting in. If you double click on diffuse, there it is laid out in your UVWs, uh, your UVW template. So all you have to do here is save this out. Um, save for web and devices, I don't care. We're going to do PNG so we keep the transparency. I'm going to click save. I'll do this to my desktop and I'll call this just junk. Save it to my desktop. Quickly go back into Max. Uh, zombie complete. Hit my material editor. Um, we're going to get rid of the current diffuse map I have there, which is here. I'm going to go, see that's my normal UVW I have laid out. Let's go up to our desktop. Scroll down to Junk PNG. Double click it. Now it's applied. Click apply there. And show it there. And now look. There's our um, there's our map. The only problem is I don't have transparency enabled here for the map. Mm, alpha channel. Let's go image alpha. And you can see the objects painted. So it's that freaking simple. Let's go here. Uh, what am I doing here? Forgetting my shortcuts from program to program. Uh, cancel. What am I doing here? Anyway, Shift W. Um, well, that's it. I just wanted to show you real quick how that works. So, you know, the white teeth, the, even in here if I had a light, the tongue is red. So you could see you got, you know, a lot of freaking... Look. There you go. That's just amazing to me. So Photoshop is now a 3D model painting utility. And I am going to have a ball with this.